there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back guys to episode 7 of my Build It Better series. Uh, basically we're going to pick up where we left off in episode 6. Uh, we was terraforming, mass terraforming this area right here. Uh, kind of prepping it for a bigger uh, city, I guess. Uh, we was going for somewhere up in the in the upper atmosphere of this area and we had pushed this back on the last episode and we was just doing some general terraforming uh didn't have any uh real real good pattern to it um you know we uh, as you can see i've pushed this back a lot further now i've got it cleaned up a lot i took all these trees out that were uh over here and these first two layers you can see look pretty symmetrical and there's a reason for that i've used a circle pattern um, to lay these, uh, this design out, and that's what this episode is going to cover. I've got a lot to go over in this episode. I hope my voice can hold through it. Uh, it's about the sixth time I've tried to do this already in the past two days. Uh, so we're going to try one more time. So anyways, in this episode, we're going to be covering uh, circles, diameters, radiuses, and domes, arches, uh, as much as I can. Anything that's going to give you a round look to your square shit in Minecraft. Uh, I've got two tutorials on my channel. They're quite old. I made them uh, when I first started YouTubing and uh, People use them all the time. Uh, they're, they're pretty good tutorials. They're a little cheesy uh, because they're the first ones that I've put up uh, But they've got some really good information and I'm gonna try to extend upon that I've got a lot of requests over the past a couple weeks on if I could uh, you know take my build a better series and um, do some uh, some radiuses and uh, circles and some domes and, and things along that nature. So that's what I'm going to try to get out of this episode. It may be a little lengthy, I'm not sure, uh, because there, like I said, there's a lot of things that I want to cover. Uh, but the first thing I want to uh, I want to go over is I want to go over the circle patterns that I'm going to be providing for you. Uh, the link in the description that's going to take you to a voxel web page um, for circles, diameters, and and, uh, and spheres. Uh, so I'm going to go over those briefly. And then when I get done talking about that, then we're going to jump back into my test world. And I've got some things set up over there where I'm going to try to walk through and explain things a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the website and the, um, the circle guides that I'll be providing in the link in the description. All right, guys, so the website in the description is Voxels Sphere Neil's News. And this is the site that you're going to come to right here. And it's what you're going to need to learn and what you're going to need to know about this site. First off, this can be very confusing. Start off with small circles and small domes to begin with. Otherwise, if you just I mean, jump right in and try to build a very complex uh, circle, you're going to get or dome, you're going to get very pissed off. And uh, you need to start off small and then work, you know, work up to the bigger ones. But anyways, how this site works is it it, it takes calculations and it actually determines a six-sided cube broke down into a sphere. So you're building it from from six different directions. Um, which that's uh, you know a complex way of, of, of describing this, but there's an easier way to try to understand this. Your z-axis or, or your third your third axis. Always make sure this is 1.0. So always make sure your x, y, and your z are always one block because we're using one block uh, in Minecraft. We're gonna need one block dimensions. So make sure all these are one. You're centered on the block. If you're doing an odd circle, or if you're using these for the outside circle, um, just to lay lay off of your pathways or you know, you know, corners of buildings or whatever um, or or your domes and you're using an odd uh, diameter you're going to want to make sure that centered on the block is checked and then your sphere radius of course is going to be uh, we're going to use a 13 in this video uh, so half of that is actually 6.5 and then you're going to hit compute and this is what you're going to get you're going to get layers and you're going to imagine each one of these is built solid. All these red blocks. This does not uh, figure this out as a as a hollow sphere. This figures it out as a solid sphere. So either start out by building it exactly as you see um, on the grids here until you, you get a feel for how they're built, or you can try to jump right in and pick the outside dimensions or the outside pattern, and that's what you're going to use to build your circles or your spheres. Now that we've, we've put in a 13 is what we have. So this is not a 13. And you're going to say, well, where the hell is the 13 at? The 13 at is in the middle. You're going to have to find the halfway point 
And again, the bigger uh, the bigger your radius, um, the bigger your diameter. And this, I mean, can go way down. I'm, I'm talking, I mean, the, the scroll bar on the side gets very, very small. And you're going to be wondering, well, how do I figure out where's my center point? I just want to build half of it. I don't want to build the whole thing. So you're going to have to find the halfway point, and they're all different. Um, but you're going to count down, you know, half, you know, half, which is six and a half on this one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here, six. All right, so six and a half is obviously going to be in between here. But when you get to the middle on certain ones, especially like your even ones, you're going to have more than one layer. Um, even on your odd ones, you're going to—I'm sorry—you're going to have uh, more than one layer in the middle that are going to be exactly the same. And as what that is is that's building, uh, you know, the the face or the wall of the spheres or the dome or the you know the the foundation that you're going to be putting the dome on top of. And I'll explain later in the video. Um, the wall height does not matter. You, you, what you're looking for is you're, you're, you're going to try to find the very center and the ones that all, all match up. This would be your 13. So I have another uh, link in the description to another set of circles that are 15. And uh, the voxel will figure these out a little bit different than uh, the ones that are in that pattern. And this uh, you'll, you can actually use to go above a 45. The other one is between a uh, 5 or a 3 and all the way up to a 45. And they're all, they're all odds. Um, this will actually figure out the even ones and the odd ones. Uh, and I'll explain later uh, why to use the even ones and why to use the odd ones. But anyways, once you find the center, you can use this just for your radius, uh, for your pathways or whatever, and just count the outside blocks. So you see you've got five, and then you've got three across the corner, and then you've got like two filler blocks right here. Um, these filler blocks are, are extras. They're not actually needed on, on the smaller ones, uh, but it will give it a more truer, rounder look. Uh, especially if you're going to be building a dome um, out of a solid material. If you're building it out of glass, uh, you can half-ass and fudge through this a little bit um, because once you stand back from it, you're not going to be able to see the uh, the filler blocks is what I is what I call them. So, anyways, once you find your center, and this is the top of your building, the next one that changes, that's going to be the very first layer that goes on top of your building or let's say the ground. Um, you're going to build up your bottom foundation, three high, seven high, eight high, whatever it is, to your 13 diameter circle. The very next picture down, and they repeat going the other way. That's why we don't need the other half of this. We just need to work back up to the top. Um, so you're going to find your 13, and the very next one going down, this is the one that you're going to build right on top of this. And you're going to use the outside dimensions again, or the pattern, three, and you have one, two, three, four, and then you're going to have three more. And then you've got you know, a couple more filler blocks out here, three more filler blocks. Um, so anyways, you're going to imagine you're going to set this right on top of this. And in the voxels, uh, the way it figures it out, this next one down is still 13 across. Using the other picture diagram that, I, that I've provided in the links in the description, if you build it using that, you would go 13, 11, 9, 7, 5. And uh, it'll actually build around to the inside of each one. The voxel sphere will actually build on top of each other, so you'll have certain layers that will be exactly the same width. So you need to pay very close attention, especially when you get into the bigger uh, domes, to, uh, to pay attention to how many squares across the center. Uh, we know this is 13, the next one is 13. So these three blocks here are actually sitting right on top of these five blocks right here, and here, and here, and here. So this sets right up on top of it, and then you've got these little filler blocks that will go in between, and you'll see this later on in the video. I'll, I'll explain this uh, a little bit better. So this will be the next one that you build down. And then, uh, oh, I can do that. I can just highlight it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the one that's going, uh, the next layer up is going to be this one. And again, this is five blocks, and then you have two diagonals, and then five blocks again. And remember, your width is still... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we're down to 11, so now we start moving in. So like I said, always count the width or the height um, of, of, of the diameter of, uh, of each pattern because it, some, some of them, like I said, will repeat. These are 13s, this is you know, two 13s, and the, now it goes to an 11. Uh, so this will go on top of that, so it starts moving in. So these five blocks will actually sit just to the inside of these three. So it's going to be right here, one two, three, four, five, and then you're going to have two diagonals, 
which are going to be here and here, and then you're going to have five blocks again. And uh, you know, once you you know, once you can see how it works on one side, the other three are exactly the same. So you just copy, you know, copy that all the way around. And 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 you'll get what I'm saying. As you know, the more the more of these that you build. Uh, the better you'll get at them. The next one down again is an, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is 11. And this has a three block wall, which is going to set right inside the five that we just put on. So it's going to go right here 1, 2, 3. And then you've got your diagonals with your fillers. They go across here. And then you're going to end up on this wall again with the other three. And it's going to work around three and then three. The next one down from that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's going to go just to the inside of this one, three blocks, one, two, three. And then you're going to have uh, your diagonals again. And like I said, this is just going to set on top. Now, when you get here, this actually drops two. It goes from uh, a nine to a five. It drops uh, four or whatever the hell. Anyways, voxel doesn't show you because it thinks that this layer is solid. So if you put this on top of here on a solid layer, you're already going to have you're not going to have any missing blocks. If you build this hollow, you're going to have a layer in between this one and that one that there's there's going to be no block showing. Um, and I'll show you later on in the video how to actually fill that in. All right, so this is the other uh, patterns that I use all the time. This gives you a three to a forty-five, and these are all your odds. Uh, they've got a one block center, as you can see. And the nice thing about this here is it's got the grids on it, and you can count all the blocks. So if you start at a center block and count your way out, um, you can count every one of these blocks to get a 27 or a 29 or you know, whatever you want to use this for. But you're going to use your outside uh, radius if you're looking down from the top. Uh, if you flip this up on its side, um, like for your domes, you're going to need to look at this from a side view and not a top view. And these lines across the, the bottom here, this will either be the top of your building or the, uh, the ground level. And this can move up and down as many as you want. Uh, the critical part is this, this area right here of the dome. So wherever it's straight, uh, you know, this could be like a big archway and it could be 20 blocks high and then all of a sudden you want to put a 13 on the top of it. And this here will have to be 20 blocks high, of course, too. And then you're going to have to have three diagonals and then five across the middle and then three diagonals. And these are filler blocks and uh, those give it a, uh, more of a, uh, a rounder feel. Uh, some of them have them, some of them don't. For some reason, some of these are gray and not purple and I'm not really sure why, but uh, it's no big deal. Just uh, fill them in. Uh, you know, just, just like they are either gray or purple, the color doesn't matter. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's, that's how you use this particular uh, pattern sheet. Uh, I've used it all the way back from the very first uh, dome and circle tutorial guide that I made, and I also used it for making uh, this Build It Better Episode 7 that you're about to watch. So I hope this helps out, guys. Let's jump into the video. All right, so hopefully now you understand a little bit better on how to use the Voxel web page. Like uh, I was telling you, it is uh, probably the most advanced way of building a dome. Um, there's easier ways to do it and still get some pretty decent looking domes and uh, circles. Uh, as far as the circles go, uh, just the, the regular guide or the circle guides pictures that I showed you, um, That's I, I use that all the time, guys. Um, I, probably 98% of the time, that's what I use for all my circles and um, my pathways and stuff like that. And I've got one set up over here, and we're going to go over that here in just a minute. Um, but when you're first starting out, you know, I'm, I'm going to start off with, uh, you know, your smaller circles, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. 13 is the one I'm going to be concentrating on the most today, not just because, I mean, it's not because it's a popular size. It's just because that's as far as I felt like building. And if I got any bigger, then I'd totally run out of room here. Uh, so anyways, the difference between the circles that um, that you can use, you've got an odd circle and then you've got an even circle. Your odd circles will always give you a one block center and your evens will always give you a four block center. And I'm not going to be going over the even circles because I don't even fucking use them. Uh, very rarely on the rare occasion that I do use them, uh, it's because I have a building or a lighthouse or something like that that I need two doors going into a round structure. And because of the four block pattern, that gives me two center blocks on each wall or each face of the circle. But the ones that you're going to probably use the most, just like me, are going to be the odds. If you watched the, you know, the first episode of Build It Better um, and, you know, throughout, you know, the other four or five, six 
six episodes, somewhere along the line, I've touched somewhere on an odd spacing and how that works the best in Minecraft. Um, so that's what we're going to be concentrating on is the 13 and the odd circles and the domes that revolve around it. Again, like I said, I've got a lot to go over. This may get pretty confusing. I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. Um, but once you learn this technique and you know and you get it down, you know, really good, uh, you can build all kinds of really awesome shit in your world, and it it will stop looking so square. So this will give you that shape dynamic that a lot of people are really looking for in their Minecraft world. Uh, so let's take a look at the 13 really quick, and. Uh, you're going to have your center lines, and that's marked out with my, you know, with my blue blocks that I have right here. And I've done the same on all the other ones. Is uh, you, you'll want to always find your center. You, your center lines are going to be the most important for laying out your domes, uh, for laying out pathways, uh, for putting a corner on a on a square side of a building. Um, you're going to want to find the center point. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to line up your circles, or you're not going to be able to line up. Um, you know this pattern to make things curve the way that you want them to especially if you're using uh, multiple circles or you know multiple sizes of circles you want a reference point and this is your reference point so here's your 13 it's got five blocks across the bottom it's got three diagonal five here five here three diagonal and then five again these pink blocks are what I call filler blocks um, in a voxel sphere or a voxel pattern um, these extra filler blocks will give it a more rounder shape, uh, especially when you're building your domes. Uh, so if you see this on your uh, on the circle guides that I gave you, these um, can be optional. You can fudge these out. You don't actually have to have those. Okay, your filler blocks or your optional blocks sometimes will cover holes upon the layer that creates the hole. Um, I had a question about that too. Somebody that was following the, the patterns uh, when they came around you know for building the dome they ended up with holes they wanted to know at, you know what level do they put them on do they put them down here or do they put them up here um, honestly guys I, I think it probably doesn't really matter um, you can probably either put them on this top level or you know the bottom level the uh, the patterns will, will show you where to put them uh, like on the 13 here on the outside those would actually be right here um, those are filler blocks. They don't actually cover a hole like these do. Um, I usually put them on the layer underneath uh, because these are built in layers and they're not actually intended to be built hollow um, per se. We build them hollow because we want to put shit inside them. Uh, but if you built these one solid layer at a time where the blocks went all the way through, this block here would actually be part of this layer. Um, so that's where I put them. So hopefully that uh, kind of helps uh, answer some questions about that. Uh, there's uh, two different ways that I know of, of building a dome. Uh, you can either take and stack 13, 11, 9, 7, and a 5 and get your dome this way. Or you can do the voxel spheres by using the website that I gave you. And, and I'll try to explain this here in just a little bit because uh, this gets really, really complicated. Um, but for starting out, this is the easiest way to do it, is to just stack um, your layers on top of each other and use your filler blocks to give it a more round look. Uh, as far as your height or your wall dimension here, uh, this could be the side of your building. So this is an unlimited height. Um, it, it's the dome part that everybody looks for. So as far as this part goes, this is just what you're going to lay down for your foundation, your outside 13 radius or diameter. Uh, 19, 27, you know, 31, whatever it may be. Uh, this this can be, you know, at least I, I would go at least three blocks high for you know if you're building it uh, flat on the ground like this, so you can at least put a door in and walk in and and have room, you know, inside to feel like you've you, you've got you're not cramped inside. In other words, uh, but as far as the maximum height of this wall, as long as you're not doing a full dome, you're not restricted to the height. If you're building a dome it has to be a certain way uh, because here's your three blocks right here on the wall that uh, that we just uh, looked at on this dome uh, so this would be ground level but because we're building uh, a dome over here in this one we have to constrict and go back to the next level uh, which is going to be a three 
Um, so that is actually what would be under the ground over there. I hope that makes uh, some sense. Like I said, I'm going to do the best I can to try to explain this. Uh, this has taken me a long time to learn a lot of this shit. Um, even in the, uh, the dome and circle tutorials when I've watched them back, uh, there's a lot that I've learned since then, uh, especially with the, the, the voxel spheres and how to build those. And um, so that's what I'm going to try to go over here, guys. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, we pulled up on the website earlier a 13. And remember how I said they're built in solid sections or solid layers. So these white blocks are actually representing the red blocks uh, that I had pulled up earlier. So these are the first two, three, four, five, six layers. And remember, it was six and a half is half of your 13. And starting on your sixth layer, I believe, um, it repeated six, seven, and eight were all the same. So if you're going to build your dome, uh, you could, your, your middle layer, um, again, if you're only building half, you can build as many of these as you want. Um, in this particular version over here, I have built three of them um, before I moved into the next, the next section. So the middle pieces that you see on the Voxel website, um, if you're not building a dome, you can build as many of those as you want. And of course, they're going to be hollow. I'm just showing these solid because that's the way they're represented on the website. Um, you'll just punch out the centers or you'll just uh, carefully follow the outside pattern uh, to get you know each one of these um, you know patterns down. And hopefully that fucking makes sense. It kind of went a little crooked there. I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, but anyways, yeah, basically is what I'm saying is your foundation can be as high as you want. Uh, once you reach the point where you need to start moving in or going to the next layer, those are the critical ones that you want to worry about. So again, like I said, on the website, you'll start working down one pattern at a time. You, uh, your bigger uh, diameters, you're going to have some that will have the exact same pattern um, more than once. So the next one down may look exactly like this one here, and then it'll move down again. Uh, it, it's all dependent upon how Voxel figures out the size of the, the dome or the sphere that you're trying to build. Um, I picked the 13 because, uh, like I said, it's just it's easy to work with right now, and uh, and it and it still looks halfway decent. But you can see the difference between using the the easier style building over here, which gives you kind of a diamond shape. Uh, but like I said, as these, as these get bigger, they start to round out uh, somewhere over a 21, I would think. Uh, I can't remember, but um, if if you can learn how to use the voxels, you will get a much cleaner, more round looking dome especially down here in the smallers of the you know the 13 15 range uh, you start getting below that and they're they're, they're going to look square anyways uh, like i said above the 13 15 17 19 and up you can actually start getting a very nice round look the difference in building this is voxel will look at this as um as a cube so you'll add you you have six sides to this um the, si the side that we don't see right now is down in the ground so we cut that off, but we still got to build the four walls, this wall, this wall, this wall, and then the top. Now you can fudge this and just stack the voxel layers on top of each other and get something very similar to this. The only thing that you'll be missing are your filler blocks um, because if you're looking straight down on this, well, let me get in position here. Uh, your filler blocks out here that you see, you'll see them in this pattern, but you're only building them in one direction. And because the, the sphere is three-dimensional, you'll have to build it out from each, uh, each axis to get these blocks and all these positions. And, I, and I'll show you that once, you know, once we start stacking this up over here, uh, what exactly that means. So let's go ahead and try to... Um, well, hang on. Before we get any further into the dome, I kind of skipped over this part over here. I want to go over pathways before I get into this real, uh, this, the, the complex dome structures uh, because some people may not want to quite get into this. They want to know how to turn their paths. And Like I said, sorry I'm a little, uh, little off here on this video, guys. I've been sick for almost a week, and I'm trying to get over it, and my head's a little fishy right now. Uh, but remember in episode two or three, I can't remember which one it was right now, we talked about paths. And, and I was showing you how to turn the paths, and the easiest way was to do, you know, kind of like a diagonal. 
you start at the corner and just go diagonally out and it works and it's good for beginners but you know now we're a little more advanced we're a little further into the series I want to show you how to, to how to use these circle patterns over here um, you don't have to use the voxel ones you can if you want um, but these over here will cover just about all your basic needs especially for paths uh, because they're just it's a simple design and you don't have to get into anything really complicated uh, so anyways as you can see here we've made a kind of a tight turn and over here we've made a, a bigger radius turn a little bit smoother uh, so I'm going to show you basically how to set these up so that you can use any of these uh, circles over here to get any kind of a turn that you want either it be a tight turn or a you know a bigger turn anything underneath probably a, uh, a nine uh, you're gonna you're gonna have you know just like two diagonal blocks and that's it that's again that's another reason why I picked a 13 but you're gonna have an inside dimension and then you're gonna have an outside dimension whenever your whenever your pathway turns or your building turns if this is a solid wall here and this is a solid wall here you're gonna figure out this inside dimension for your wall so you're going to have points of interest that you're going to want to have to find. You're going to want to find the center block. You're going to find uh, your outside uh, uh, diameter or radius, rather, which is on the pathway ends up being the inside radius. But again, if this is with your two walls, this would be the outside of the radius that you're using to round off the, uh, the corner of your building. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be working on the path, so that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, uh, the pattern for the 13 remember is five and then whoops fucker and then three diagonals and then five again and then three diagonals two three four five three diagonals three diagonals three diagonals and then five and then your center block is right there and that falls right in between this is why your odd numbers work really really good because you've got one block that you can find all the way around and it's what you're going to imagine is a 90 degree angle if you draw a 90 degree angle on a piece of paper and you grab a quarter and you set it in between these two lines and you draw the radius inside of uh, those two lines you know it'll give you a radius and then you just you know erase the outside corner and it gives you a nice pretty little circle when you're drawing a picture um, this pretty much works the same damn way except uh, you know you're not drawing the the whole circle in the corner you want to you want to find out where it would sit if you had the whole quarter uh, so we know by looking at this that from the center block it's one two three four five six and your center block is seven so you keep that in mind with whatever pattern that you use over here you're gonna need to know that radius and that center block number because that's where you're gonna figure out how this is laid out so you figure out where you want your path to start turning and give yourself you know a couple blocks leeway uh, because that like I said as you get up into the bigger circles that wall side like right now we've got five it will get wider you'll have seven nine um, eleven and it, it, it'll just start getting bigger so you're gonna need more room as this goes out uh, so figure out where you want this thing to turn and that's where you're gonna have you know your your first point of interest and then work this way to find that center block and remember we wanted six blocks so counting this one we go one two three four five six and then seven that's the other point of interest this is your center block this is this is where you set your protractor down and you draw this this, this is uh, the circle out and then you're gonna go this way six blocks not counting the center one one two three four five six and then you're gonna get this point of interest here so now we're gonna connect these two points and remember on your circle those are actually right in the middle of the wall so if you continued this out and you laid out that number 13 in particular because that's what we're using you've got five blocks across the wall one two three four five okay so we've just found the center and then you're gonna have five over here too and we just found the center and there's your three blocks that go across the corner so if you finish this out three five three five and three it'll connect and there's your quarter that you just set down inside of that 90 degree angle which actually would go out this way if you was drawn on a piece of paper and then you set the quarter right in here but because we're in Minecraft we're gonna do things just a little bit different and we're gonna put it 
uh, 90 degrees going this way and we're using the outside uh, points of interest just like a protractor you're going to set the point right here and then you're going to draw your circle so that's how you figure out your your, your first radius so we're going to get rid of this shit now depending on the, the width of your path I'm going to show you exactly how to figure out uh, what your next uh, diameter circle that, that you're going to need now that you have the first point set up you're going to want to find the next point so if your path is three wide or if it's five wide or seven wide you're going to count out from this point of interest we know is a 13 and circles go up by two because there's two sides on the circle as it goes around it adds a block on this side it'll add a block on that side so it will always go up by two whether you're going on an even circle or an odd circle it'll be 13 15 17 19 you're always adding two blocks so anytime you lay out your circles and you want to move out from that and you want to keep making circles going out uh, you know like a big crop circle so you want to make a big crop circle you're you're always going to use the center point and once you find the closest one for your first circle then you can just count out from that so we know this is 13 15 17 19 21 this is your next point of interest from this point you're going to build a 21 all right so if you look at your 21 that has seven blocks across the face again here's your center and it's going to have three on each side so if we build that out it's going to be one two three four five six seven and then we've got two blocks that move in one two and then we've got one two three diagonals one two three diagonals and this is about the halfway point through the center and you'll notice when you start laying more of these out this will repeat so we know that these two blocks will go and repeat again except they'll start going this way and then we'll have seven more blocks again and I'm gonna run into that so I'm not I'm not gonna go over there but anyway so here's our two blocks here's our one block another diagonal block another diagonal block there's the repeated two and then three more so we know the center block on the 21 is right here so now we have three blocks versus the two blocks that we started so as this moves out like I said you want to gonna want to leave yourself enough room to make some of these turns uh, this particular one goes out three blocks you know you get up to a 45 and it could be uh, nine blocks out I can't I can't remember right off the top of my head or but remember you want to you want to keep in mind that you're building a, a part of a circle this would actually continue all the way around uh, so don't let that confuse you when you're you know trying to build this radius and can't figure out why you started here and then build out your three blocks and then your two blocks and then started your diagonal like this and it doesn't line up you've got to start from your points of interest which are your center lines of each of your walls so hopefully that makes some sense and that clears up that part of path design and down here the only difference that I used is a 21 and a 29 uh, again I you know I counted out got 21 23 25 27 and a 29 and then it started turning here and it started turning there and it makes a really nice smooth transition between your corners uh, so like I said hopefully that helps out with making your paths now we're going to go back over here to the voxel spheres again so those that want to uh, go ahead and stop here that's fine I'm not going to be pissed off just throw a like on the video uh, comment in the comment section follow me on Twitter all that good shit um, those that want to learn this and uh, stick the rest of this video out I appreciate it uh, again I will do the best that I can it's going to get confusing especially if you haven't done this before um, so let's go ahead and dive right in all right so we start with the 13 again in layers uh, and using the uh, the website as the guide uh, you've got your base and you're gonna build this up as many as you want and we're gonna build it up three high uh, just like we did over here uh, and I'll probably just speed this up all right so now you're ready to start putting the dome on the top of your building so the very next layer will be the very first one that changes underneath the ones that are repetitive on the, on the voxel page so this is our next one and remember I told you pay very close attention to your width some of them will remain the same uh, so this one again has 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is your center block 8 9 10 11 12 13 so this is going to set right on top of this and these three little blocks are going to go right here 1 2 3 so now you could build this solid across the top if you wanted to 
but I'm going to go ahead and switch colors so you can see what I'm doing. So those three go there, and this repeats all the way, uh, all the way around. Remember I told you if you learn one quadrant, <clears throat> if you learn one quadrant, you can build all the rest. So if you know this is three, this has to be three, this has to be three, and this one has to, this one has to be three right here. Now we're going to look at the next blocks. There's, there's two blocks right here. So that, and there's also here, and then here, 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 and here. So the next two go right here, one, two, and that's going to cover up one of your blocks, and that's fine. And then you're going to come over here, and you're going to cover up this block and this block. All right, same thing here. Come on, fucker, get in there. And you're going to have another one over here. Ugh, these get a little, little funky sometimes. And then two more right here. And you can build this uh, going around, um, you know, like build these three, two, and then your diagonal, two, and then your diagonal. It doesn't matter um, how you build it, whatever is easiest for you. Um, of course, there's, you know, there's going to be different ways to approach this. Um, but this is the way I'm, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you because this is, you know, the easiest way to teach you right now. So the next one is a diagonal, and you've got, and that'll finish out this next layer. And I'll put a purple one there knowing that we've, we've built that. So your next one is going to be a diagonal here, a diagonal here, a diagonal here. And this is, we're kind of fudging this, like I said, because we're only building uh, one way up. We're not building all six sides like this one here. Uh, and I'm not really going to get into that right now because it just would really complicate the fuck out of this tutorial and confuse a lot of people. Um, as, this, as this gets bigger, um, those will start to blend in. Like I said, you're going to use glass. Uh, most of the time, you're never going to see it. Uh, if you build a solid structure, by the time you get to that point, hopefully you've built enough of these anyways, and um, and you've done figured out how to build um, in a three-dimensional sort of sense like I've got over here. And I'll show you those when I get done, just so you can kind of get in your mind um, how that these uh, piece together. All right, so that's, that's the next one, and that one's done. Uh, we're going to pick up our orange block. This is going to be our orange block. And we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this goes in one. And each layer goes up one. Um, you know, so just remember that too. If you know Each layer goes up and it can move in or it will not move in. Um, that will be determined upon your, uh, the width of the, the layer. So we've got five more blocks, two uh, uh, diagonals, and then a filler block. And, uh, and I'll show you where that is here in a minute. So we've got five blocks that sit on top. And remember, we're moving up. So it's actually going to sit right on top of this purple block. And I'll fly around it so you can see it. Because if you put one over here in the same position, same thing here. Remember, the one that we just put on there uh, was a 13. So we're taking one block off from each side. So we're going down to an 11. And, then we're gonna, and this will cover up the holes. And then, of course, you're going to have uh, blocks that uh, overlap underneath. Once you get all this built out, if you want to go back in and figure out which ones you can punch out and which ones you can't, uh, that's up to you. It doesn't matter. And then we've got two diagonals. Let's look at that again. We've got a diagonal and a diagonal here and here. And that's going to fill up those holes, those holes. All right, so that layer's done. So we'll go ahead and put an orange block on that so we don't get confused. The next one, let's go ahead and do a blue layer, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's the same width as this one here, and it goes back to a three block pattern by two by two. So let's build the three first, and that's going to sit right on top of this, just like the other one did. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, and then the next part of that is two blocks this way, and then two blocks that way, and they should touch in the middle. So it's going to be sitting here and here, and there and there. So you're going to have these two blocks are covered. One is going this way and one is going that way. These two blocks are covered. One going this way and one going that way. Again, these two blocks are covered. One going, oops, 
fucked up. One going this way and one going that way. So that's the next layer. So we're going to throw a block on top of that and that one's done. All right, so the next one we're going to do a green layer. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this again drops down one layer and it's pretty much all diagonals. So you got three blocks and all diagonals and it goes up one layer. Uh, so we're going to go up one layer. So we just went up one and we put three blocks and it's going to go right in this gap. And a lot of times you'll be able to almost see the pattern as you build it. Um, but don't anticipate it and, and, and try to fill it in too early uh, because it's not always going to get filled in. Uh, there will be times where I'll show you here on the next level where it will change. Um, and if you fill it in early, you will kind of, you know, screw it up. So now we have diagonals that go across here. And you see I have a hole. And I'll show you what to do that with it here in just a minute. And like I was saying over here, when we first started, on this layer, if it creates a hole, that's where it's going to be filled in. If you just built this layer and you built a solid circle, that's going to be filled in. So you go ahead and put your blocks in and fill on that layer. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. If I'm losing my voice. Um, so anyways, that's the next one. So the green layer is now done. We're going to put a block in there. And that was nine. Now, remember I said this drops to a five. So we're, we're dropping quite a bit. And if you put this right on top of this one here, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. And as you can see, there's going to be blocks here that are going to be missing. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second when we put this up on top. So the, the voids that are created from this layer, that's going to pick up the blocks. All right, and we're going to do this one back in white again. And we're going to go to the inside. And it's 3 by 3 by 3. And I could leave that block because I'm going to fill that in solid anyways. This is, a, this is the top layer, and it's going to be solid. Um, so we're going to fill that in. All right, and then your center blocks should line up all the way through. And it does. So we've built that correctly. And as you can see, we have voids or holes in that layer beneath. So we're just going to fill that in. Because we've already seen that on the solid pattern. And that's the layer that it goes on. And that's what you should have. Alright, so as you can see, this one looks a little bit different from this one. And the reason why is because we didn't build the, the other five the other four sides going in we just built one dimensionally going up and like I said that that does work it will work and and it will still give you a round look even on the bigger circles um, and for right now just build them like that and just keep uh, it's gonna be glass you're not gonna notice it anyways but I've got a sandstone building in a lot of my earlier videos that um, that I use this exact same pattern. I didn't use a lot of the filler blocks. I didn't build it, you know, third, you know, fourth dimensionally or whatever. Like I have these over here, and it turned out just fine. Um, so until you get this down, I would build it, you know, one dimensionally right off the top, um, and that will give you a very nice round look. And then once you get this down, then you can try to learn how to do this over here. This will give it a whole, a whole different kind of a uh, more uh, three dimensional corner. Uh, look for um, to make it <clears throat> keep looking more around. I'm sorry, I'm like really fishing for fucking words here, guys. Uh, but anyways, this is this is how it's built. Um, the layers are still the same. You still have the little square piece. You still have the next piece, and there's the layers that I filled in that we just filled in underneath on that last uh, the last green layer, and there's the next one going up, which is the blue layer. And then you've got another one going up, which is the orange layer. And then your last layer here, which is your purple layer. And then this is the, the bottom layer, which is that one, the very first one, which is, you know, three, three or five or ten. How, however many that you decide it to be, um, that's how many this will repeat. And, of course, I've used the blocks just so you can see where they end up. There's your green block is your center line. 
Um, but if you're going to build it uh, in a dome uh, aspect, again, on your X, Y, and Z axis, uh, you're going to start from your center block, just like you laid it out on the ground, looking down on it. You're going to have six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then your six block ends up here. And you're going to have six blocks in each direction, uh, X, Y, and Z. And then, of course, this is going to get stuck on the end on, on uh, all six sides. And then you're going to go to your next pattern, which is this. And your green block, of course, is your reference point. Uh, and then your purple blocks, as you can see, go right behind this piece, um, uh, the first piece that you put down and raised up or pushed in. So as you can see, here's the purple layer right here. And it's on all six sides right there and then the outer piece the white piece that gets added right around the outside of the purple on the, on the same on the same level it doesn't move in yet uh, because that's on the same layer um, as you can see it right up here too and then these two will touch in the middle and the next one uh, is going to be this one and that's going to be built in um, it's going to start filling in from the inside and I think I actually I lit this up uh, yes, I did. Okay, so here's your orange. Um, and at this point, on the smaller ones, it'll be fairly easy to fill in. Here's your, your diagonal piece on your flat. You got one on the top, uh, one on each of the sides. And it finishes uh, filling this in from the inside. And then the outside will leave you this right here. And then you're, you're going to pick up your filler blocks, uh, which you'll see um, on your, your voxel pattern. Uh, looking down from the top, on, uh, I think it's this layer right here, I can't remember. But you're going to put these two here. And then you're just going to make a circle around this. So that this corner block right here you know, gets, gets kind of emphasized and gives it a more of a rounder look. And then all four corners on the top get it. And then, of course, all four corners across the bottom get it. So that gives you a really nice, I mean, for a, you know, a 13 uh, diameter sphere, that's pretty kick-ass. So anyways, hopefully that, that makes more sense. Um, and if you've built half of it, again, there's your blue, the blue add-on blocks, which are right here. And if you look on your, uh, the voxel layer, which is, let's see, one, two, three. This is the two with the one in the middle. So this is the two with the one in the middle. So this is this layer right here, two with the one in the middle. And then there's two optional blocks on the outside, here and here. Those are your blue blocks. Um, and actually there's just, you know, there's only one there. But as you can see, there's your your diagonal three blocks that we just, uh, we just looked at, these three purple ones. And then your outside two blue ones. Your outside two blue ones. Um, so anyways, that's how that's how your voxel sphere is, is basically built um, Good luck with the bigger ones. They're uh, they're pretty complicated and like I said you can fudge uh, where you don't have to do uh, Fourth dimensionally is what I'm calling it, you know building out from the center each way it will look better. Yes, it will um, But it is more complicated and it will frustrate the living piss right out of you um, So for right now, just go ahead and build one dimensionally straight off the top um, either this style or using, um, you know, just the regular simple circles, and you'll end up with a pretty good looking dome. Uh, I, I use them all the time, they look just fine. Uh, this is basically your cylinders. The difference between this 13 and this 13 is the two filler blocks here. Again, whoops, here and here. Just gives it just a little bit more rounder look, and it doesn't give you that, uh, that uh, hexagon feel. That this one here gives you um, so again that's on your uh, your voxels and I think it might actually be on uh, the pattern over there too I can't remember because uh, I haven't looked at it here in a few minutes and I've done forgot um, again this is turning the 13 on its side without the filler blocks the filler blocks would go here and here and they would run along the edges and of course on the top and the bottom and that will give it an, an even more rounder look. Uh, so I mean, like this was all stone, and you want to make a cool ass tunnel, um, you know.
know, it's, you're going to see it from the outside. Of course, you're going to want these filler blocks. If this is going through a mountain, you're never going to see these two, so there's no reason to even put them on there. And again, they'll go down in these two uh, positions down here and right here. So you'll want to look for these filler blocks. They're, they're more advanced. They're added on um, a lot of times for looks and then a lot of times for actually filling in fucking layers. And you'll have to determine uh, per diameter uh, what's actually being requested out of that pattern. Uh, something that I, you know, I, I can't take the time and show every fucking one of them because there's so many that are different. Uh, so anyways, hopefully that should explain a lot of things about your circles and your patterns. And you'll be able to use these all across your world and all kinds of different things and really open up your uh, your Minecraft world to some really fabulous looking shit. Um, so anyways, that's it for episode 7. If you've continued and watched the whole thing, I really appreciate it. Thanks for bearing with my voice. Uh, hopefully it's better here in the next couple days and I get rid of this shit. Uh, but remember, if it looks like shit, tear it down, blow it up, or just build it better, guys. And remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.